Did you ever hear the legend of how the Star Wars movies descended into moral ambiguity and chaos? For decades, the Star Wars movies have wowed audiences, in no small part because of the way that they portray the battle between good and evil through the light side and the dark side of the Force. Now, Star Wars has taught about good and evil through this metaphor to audiences of all ages. However, with Episode 8, The Last Jedi, coming up on the horizon, it sounds like that may or may not still be the case. They're probably introducing this concept called the Grey Jedi, and that's what we're going to talk about today. In some sense, the concept of the Grey Jedi is supposed to encapsulate this middle space in between the light side and the dark side of the Force. So, the first problem that I have with this is you get this kind of antimatter matter idea out of the dark side and the light side of the Force. And there's this idea that the more Jedi pop up, the more Sith will rise to meet them, and that that causes war and conflict in the galaxy. Therefore, if you want to get rid of war, you have to just get rid of all of it and just have meaningless gray meh. We'll call them, instead of the gray Jedi, the Knights of Meh. In this model, if you want to be a balanced Jedi, a balanced Force user, who brings together the best of both the dark side and the light side of the Force, then you should just kill half of the children at the Jedi Temple, or chop off their legs. So, one way the Grey Jedi could go is to have this crazy, silly idea that you need to mix a little bit of dark side to spice up your life. And then you can be a Grey Jedi, and that's somehow better than being a good guy. It's more good than being a good guy if you add a little bad. Let's say you have the Sith here, and you have the Jedi here. Well, if you're into this false dichotomy idea where the middle between any two points is the right way to go, then let's say you create the Grey Jedi. That is manifestly better than the old Jedi. But now suddenly you still have two. So do you find the midpoint between those two? This is manifestly wrong. You can't escape this idea of good and evil for as long as humans make choices, for as long as people do anything or care about anything, you have to believe in an underlying idea that some things are better than others. No matter what you choose, you have to say that what you chose is better than the other one, or else your choice doesn't matter, and it doesn't matter whether you make a choice in the first place. Another way this concept of the Grey Jedi could go horribly, horribly wrong is if it adopts the idea that the individual who becomes the Grey Jedi becomes the ultimate arbiter of good and evil in themselves. What that basically means is that whatever he or she decides to do has to be right, and that there's no other, like, context of accountability, there's no other rules, there's no other way to determine what's good and bad other than just whatever that particular gray Jedi happens to think. Now, this is really, really, really stupid for a few reasons. One of them is that you can just look at yourself to know that you're not the ultimate arbiter of good and evil. You and I do things every day that we know we should not do. And I'm not saying that other people say you shouldn't do these things. You do things every day that you know you shouldn't do. You're not as good as you think you are. None of us are. The idea that this gray Jedi, merely by somehow stepping in between the light side and the dark side, will become like the ultimate arbiter of moral authority, will become the new Buddha. Oh, I don't think so. So one way that episode eight could introduce the gray Jedi without turning them into the Knights of Meh is to say that the dark side and the light side have never represented good and evil fully. On one side you have full denial and on one side you have full letting into your emotions. Somewhere between those you have regulation. Another way that they could handle this Grey Jedi thing is to say that the light side is the good and the dark side is the bad, but that the Jedi Council in the prequels did not perfectly serve the light side. Now, it seems like there's some evidence for this. For instance, they were completely unable to detect the rise of Darth Sidious. They also had a very unhealthy attitude towards emotions and towards relationships. I don't like sand. You'll notice that in Return of the Jedi, the way that Luke defeats Vader is by appropriately channeling his emotions. Not denying them, not being possessed by them, but by appropriately channeling them. Now, if the Grey Jedi go down that road, then it's going to turn out well. In this case, the way the Grey Jedi will work is that they will serve the light side of the Force while recognizing that other people, including authority structures like the Jedi Council, may not perfectly know what the light side of the Force is. In that case, the Grey Jedi will operate kind of autonomously, and they kind of will do their own thing, but they will always be acting in subservience to a higher cause, that is, the good, the light side of the Force. In any case, we don't want to see Star Wars sitting on the fence between good and evil. This idea that good and evil can be mixed, and that you should only kill half the Jedi children by serving the dark side and the light side, maybe you swear an oath to two masters, yeah, it's not going to work. Instead of doing this, what we want to see is a resolution that brings about a greater good. 
You can't escape that binary. Good exists. Evil exists. Now, if Star Wars does go down the road of teaching moral relativism, then that will be very sad, and we can only say with Obi-Wan... You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy the Sith, not join them! However, if they do it right, then Episode 8 will make a fine addition to our collection. Now, some would also say that good and evil don't exist or don't matter, in which case, all I can say is... It's treason, then. You might also think that, yes, good and evil exist, and they do matter, but come on, guys, this is just a movie. However, this is not true. The movies we watch matter. And this means that either you have to watch good movies or be able to see through their lies. I see through the lies of the... Grey. Jedi. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you should check out our other videos that talk about the good and how we can get to it. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe below, and tell us in the comments what you think about the new Star Wars movie and about moral relativism in general. I find your lack of subscription disturbing. Also, you may have been wondering if we were deliberately trying to use as many prequel memes as possible in this video. And the answer to that is... Possibly. Yep. Also, what about the droid attack on the Wookiees?